flamboyant tour de force, this painting. It's so lively, it's unfinished, but it doesn't matter that it's unfinished. So much movement, an amazing composition. And it almost feels like a Velasquez painting to me. Just the handling of the head. It's a very believable head. Obviously done quickly. And Robert painted so quickly, he could do a head and torso study in two hours. So this was probably about, I would guess, a half a dozen sittings. Difficult to read the colours so well in this painting because of the glass. Although Robert quite liked to glaze his plain paintings. Um, because it enhanced the richness of the colours. I just love the movement. I love the dynamism. I can, f I can imagine him painting it quickly and with a sure eye. I never saw Robert measure anything. He sometimes said he was imagining he was carving the figure out of wood just to feel the relationship between things, between head and torso and legs. It works. It works as a figure. It, it's a convincing head. And the delicious colouring of the, the hair, the skin tones. Quite hard painting white objects, especially in shadow, and he has beautifully coloured silvery, yellowy greys. In fact, it's a really a feast for the eyes. It's a feast of colour, this painting. Enjoying the complementaries of green against bright red of the mouse on the knee there. Complementaries enhance each other, so the red is really singing there. Textures, the amazing texture of the coat and how light a black object goes. Robert used to clean his brushes on his canvases, believe it or not, so that's why we have dribbles going down the canvas either side. But it keeps it alive, and I think we can say Robert's draftsmanship was second to none. It can go back to the skill of Rubens, Velasquez, even Lucian Freud, I don't think, worked in the same way. He didn't conceive the whole like Robert could. Simplifying at times and enjoying textures and colour at other times. A vast different array of subjects in this exhibition. I think people will see that from the different projects, Robert painted all walks of life. But he was the impartial observer, if you will.